Hello everyone, welcome back to A Journey to a Mile. Uh, today we are going to unbox this uh, spotting scope by Sig Sauer. So this is the Oscar 8. Uh, this has a 27 to 55 magnification and has the 80 millimeter objective lens. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. All right. All right, let's try to turn this around so you can see a little bit. So we have our cover that's included. Nice little koozie for our op optics. So put that to the side. Your manual and, of course, the actual optic itself. Good, nice packaging. Uh, easy to pull out, but very thick foam. Keeps it well protected in there. So let's set this off to the side here. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit closer view on this so we can take a look at everything that this has to offer. Okay, so as you can see, this has a little bit of a texture to it. This has got almost a rubberized feel, um, so it doesn't slip real easy. Good grip that you can maintain as you're getting this set up, even if you're wearing gloves or something else um, as you're working with this. Let's go ahead and start from the front and we'll work our way back to the, eye, uh, to the eyepiece. We have here just a standard lens cap that attaches. It is mounted with this little string just so you don't accidentally lose it. Then we have on the front, there is a built-in sunshade. So this will slide out and back in so that you can adjust um, if you're getting any type of glare um, for your preference. Put this cap back on. Kind of working down our way. Next up we have the tripod mount. So this will go through, this will allow you to kind of rotate. This knob here is to kind of set that in so it stops rotating. And then you'll notice on the bottom that this has just got a standard quarter inch 20 uh, thread for any screw on mount uh, that you have with your tripods. This base is not like an Arca rail um, so that it'll go in quick disconnect. So you may have to add another plate if you're looking for some type of, of disconnect like that. Uh, so keep that in mind with the one that comes uh, standard with the unit. Next off, this dial here is for your overall focus. Um, so this will adjust in and out. I will say this moves very easily. Um, so as you're getting it set up, it's pretty easy to accidentally move this but it is a fairly fine tune adjustment. So um, a little bit of movement probably won't hurt too much, but obviously be careful as you're working with that. Working back to the eyepiece itself. Uh, first off, this is removable and you can swap this out for other eyepieces. Maybe you want one that has a built-in reticle on it that matches uh, an optic you're using, maybe different magnification, whatever the case is, there is an option to get uh, additional eyepieces for this. To remove this, there's uh, a lock right here. So this first ring, I would need to turn to an unlock motion. And then the eyepiece itself needs to turn about a quarter of a turn, and then that will slide right out. Um, and so that's how you would replace this eyepiece. Kind of goes back in the opposite way. So you put that in, twist that into place, and then relock um, your ring here to make sure that this can no longer be removed. Working ourselves up, this does have a lens cap that's included. This one, however, is not attached to anything. So uh, make sure you find some way that you're not going to lose that. On your eye cap here, this will spin out so you can adjust your eye relief. There's really only a couple of different settings, so find which one is going to work best for you. And then this ring here, I'll try to show you there, this has a marking on it right here on the, on the eyepiece. Eye and this goes from 27 times to 55 time magnification. So that is your magnification adjustment there. All right, overall, a very well-built piece of equipment, as you'd expect from SIG. Um, looking forward to getting this mounted up um, I'll try to get some video through the optics so you get a feel, at least for the quality of it, and we'll get that posted as well. And um, I'll let you know 
how it operates and how quickly and, and smooth it, it works. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe down below. Add your comments. Let us know what other optics you're using. Um, if you've used this particular unit and any experiences that you've had, love to see that um, and look forward to it. More stuff coming soon. Have a great afternoon. Thanks. Thanks.